from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia to around the globe. You're listening to Shark Bite Biz, your exclusive place for business strategy, sales, marketing, and tech in the roaring 20s. And now, here's your host, David Strausser. Welcome to the newest episode of Shark Bite Biz. I'm your rock star wannabe host, David Strausser. This is your place to learn how to grow business during complete chaos. We're here. We have made it. We're on the eve of hitting a huge milestone, and we're at episode 099. Yeah, episode 99, and we are exactly one show away from hitting that huge milestone of getting into triple digits with episode 100. I can't believe it. It's been such an amazing ride over this past year. We've worked very, very hard doing two interviews each and every week of brand spanking new guests that, you know, it's been a pleasure. We've had some ups, we've had some downs, a lot of learning curves, but it's been amazing. So first, though, remember, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can join the channel for only three dollars a month. You can become a baby shark. Help us grow the channel so that we can continue bringing you some of the biggest and best minds out there in small business. Now, if giving money through big tech isn't your thing, don't worry. We got you covered right there, too. Check out DeadHouseCoffee.com. Use the code SHARK. You're going to get 20% off of your order. And all the proceeds go directly to help and support this show being the biggest and best it possibly can. Either way, doing it through YouTube, becoming a baby shark, or, you know, buying some coffee at deadhousecoffee.com, you're going to be helping us get to the next level. Thank you all for your support. It's been amazing so far, but let's get back to today's episode. Since we are about to hit episode 100, I felt for episode 99, it would probably be fitting to talk about somebody that really embodies what the core of this show is about. This show, it's about networking. It's about meeting people. It's about helping others. And it really comes down to, you know, growth. And growth is a general term there because we target three specific types of growth. We have personal growth, we have professional growth, and we have business growth. Today's guest is a master of all three of those and is doing some pretty gnarly stuff within all of his circles. I've only met him once, and it was actually because of this podcast. So, you know, I started the podcast out to expand my network during COVID, during the pandemic, during the lockdowns. And this is actually a testament of how the show has worked for me personally and professionally. You know, he heard of my show. They saw me. They connected with me on LinkedIn. They invited me on his show. And it helped get my face, as lovely as it is, and my name and my voice and my thoughts out to his gigantic network. And here we are, you know, a few months later, turning the tables, bringing him onto our show so that he can be exposed to all of you. So you kind of see how everything works together there. You know, you a little bit of give, a little bit of take, and it, you know, it all goes full circle. You have to remember with networking, it's not always about the big bang and instant gratification. Sometimes it's a slow burn. And in this case, it turns out to be an amazing and new budding friendship. So who is today's guest? Mohammed Sadiq. Mohammed Sadiq from Atlanta, Georgia, is an Amazon influencer, commercial real estate investor, global social media authority, mass publicity influencer, publisher of multiple business magazines, king of relationship capital, entrepreneurial philanthropist, the host of Growth Hacking Show, and the co-author of New Success Secrets. Make sure you reach out to him. You can meet him at his site. It is meetsadiq.com. And we'll definitely have those links in the chat below. But from this point on, you know, his full name is Muhammad Sadiq. All his friends call him Sadiq. So from this point on, we're just going to refer to him as Sadiq. So, hey, let's bring Sadiq on in here. Business strategy. Sadiq. 
Welcome to Shark Bite Biz. You, my friend, you just became Shark Bait. Thank you so much, David, for having me. Such a great honor. Oh, no problem. I had to return the favor. You had me on your show, so I had to bring you onto my show. Oh, that's amazing. Now we are even today. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. So, Sadiq, we have a, one tradition on this show. The very first question we ask everybody, doesn't matter who you are, how famous you are, how non-famous you are, everybody gets asked the same question, okay? What's your experience? What's your background? What do you do for a living? How did you get where you're at? Tell us, what makes Sadiq Sadiq? That's a great question, by the way. In fact, I probably <laughs> will steal it with your permission to start asking to my guests. What yeah, makes- go ahead. It's a great question. Thank you for the permission. Mm-hmm. I am a toll bridge. Have you seen a toll bridge ad anywhere? Hey, come and use my toll bridge. Toll Tall bridge. bridge. Toll bridge, where you pay yeah. a toll to pass through the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. toll bridge, yeah. Yeah, connect two roads, mm-hmm. two sides together. And more desperate, bigger the line is waiting on a toll bridge. Right. Desperate people say, hey, take the money, don't forget about the change, and just let me go. I have to get <laughs> on my destination. That's who I am for the last 30 years almost. And I love it. It's a relationship with business brokerage. Mm-hmm. And we make money for the life of the transaction from both sides. And both oh. transparent relationship, 100% black and white. And both parties are aware of that. We so you, be- hear, you hear people say to you frequently, hey, shut up, take my money. Yeah, that's right? true. <laughs> that's I say, hey, great. change I owe you. I say, no, don't worry about it. I have been waiting for one hour. Don't worry, just let me go. You know, that's very, very simple. So how do you do that? You have to listen to the customer and understand their pain to the dot, just like a doctor. Mm -hmm. You ask tons of questions. You understand their pain. Not only, yes, I understand it. You kind of visualize it. Then you see like a prescription. Who else in the world but David has it and need it? And then I Mm -hmm. outreach to someone. He said, David Shark Bite Biz, the host of this, has this pain. Can you give me the pill that will help them to solve that pain? And this is sure we can, and because over the years I have so much authentic relationship, relationships all over the world, including in the US and including in yeah. Pakistan. I'm originally from Pakistan, just you know. So mm-hmm. uh, anywhere, wherever you want to go, then it's a, connect them together on a Zoom call. Zoom made is so easy, just like on this call. Oh, yeah. And then we record the call with the permission from both. And I, I explain the pain. Then they say, yeah, yeah, that's my pain. And then they say, okay, here's my solution. Get to the beast, try to start with, instead of tell me about yourself, what you do. We take care of all that part. Then we manage the relationship too where they need it. Sometimes they can work with each other directly, which is okay too. We still make money. They cannot circumvent us and they cannot solicit with each other. Everyone is protected on their place. Yeah, it sounds like you're pretty much like a relationship broker in a way. 100% business one, not a personal one. I have not decided to go on that side yet. Oh, so you don't have your own Tinder app or anything? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. So uh, you're down, we're, you're located down in Atlanta in Georgia, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, you have a lot of different things that you're doing. I mean, from Amazon influencer uh, you know, commercial real estate, you have your own podcast that you do on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of stuff like that. How has becoming a uh, micro influencer helped you with your general business? Yeah, you know, we are in a relationship business and every business is a marketing business. You are mm-hmm. the brand for yourself. Does not matter business you are in, you have to be the brand spokesperson for your business yourself. No one else can better explain your business than you directly yourself. I, I learned this one from Alex Mendozian almost 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. And the once I understood, I kind of run for it. And I'm so glad I did not only I learned myself, I implemented it myself. I'm helping many, many thousands of other people around the world to do I, that. I just want to ping in right there because what you just said is something that is critical, I think, that 
no one can explain their business like they can. So you can't explain your business. No one can explain your business better than you is essentially what you're saying. And that is that is so critical. I think some people, they forget sometimes how to have that clear, precise message. For me, with my day job, Vision 33, I do ERP. Enterprise Resource Planning Solutions for small to mid-sized business. And that gets into some technical stuff. I mean, usually, I'd say 80% of the time when I say I do ERP, they're like, what's that? (laughs) And then I have to explain what that is. And then they're still like, okay, so what is that? Is that like computers or something? (laughs) And, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't know it. I'm in one of those industries where... It's like, oh, crap, you know, I do have to have a clear, precise message because people don't understand. They may be using an ERP for their daily business, but they don't know that's an ERP. They just know it's the program that they use to do everything in. And that is, I think, a very important item to have in order to be successful. 100%. In fact, in any business, your production business or your raw material factory Mm -hmm. service business, in any business, there are only three components. One is you're producing something, you get a raw material and produce something like a hardcore, any product, like Mm -hmm. an iPhone, you name any product. The second portion is the operation of that business, like a payroll, administration, moving uh, fleet here and there. That's like our administration part, operation. Production and operation both takes money out from your pocket as a com- business owner, mm-hmm. as a CEO or a founder of the company. When you're producing something, you have to buy the raw material. Your money is going out from your bank account. Okay. When you're op- in managing the operation, payroll and every other expense, gas, fleet, your money is going out from the bank. This th- the third department in your company is the marketing department. When yeah. somebody's talking about marketing, Every business in the world is a marketing business. Yeah. Every business. As a founder of your company, as an executive, you need, you are in a marketing business, okay? That's the only department which brings money. Sales is Mm -hmm. is a part of the marketing, is a part of the marketing department. So here is the question really people need to ask. I put a a machine, marketing is a machine. I put a $1 on one side, as far as producing $2, $3, $5, $10 on the other side, mm-hmm. I have no issue of putting as many rinse and repeat as much as possible. In yeah. fact, David, I'd like to share with your audience right now. People ask me, how much is your marketing budget? You know what? I always answer the one word. David, can you guess what that is? What is? I, I'm not good at guessing. <laughs> unlimited. My marketing budget is unlimited. Unlimited. Yeah, you know why? That's true. It should be. It should be unlimited. Why I need to put a limit on my growth? Mm-hmm. I put a dollar on one side. On the other side, you gave me give me two dollars. I give you a dollar back, put it back, rinse and repeat. We're unlimited. Why are you even worry about the budget? You know, that's something that's so true. I just don't, I don't get it. Why companies, they don't value marketing. And it's kind of like, why would you kneecap yourself? Why are you going to punish yourself? That's kind of like saying, hey, look, we're going to hire a sales rep, but we're going to cap their commissions. Yeah. We're only going to, we'll let that sales rep earn as much as they can, but they can't earn more than 90000 a year. Okay, that's their, why would you do a thing like that? Guess what's going to happen? That sales rep's going to stop selling once they hit $90,000 because mm-hmm. there's no incentive. And then they're going to uh, just let it, wait till next year and then start selling again January 1st so that they can earn the money again. I mean, it it makes no sense. And I think the same thing goes with marketing as well, too. Why stop investing money? Now, if you're not producing results, then you need to fix your marketing. But if you're producing results and that $1 in marketing is coming out the other end, two, three, five, thirty, fifty, hundred dollars $50, $100, whatever it may be, I mean, you would think that you should be pouring more and more and more money into that. 100%. I'm a virtual CMO to many, many companies all around the world. Mm-hmm. I'm an invisible person in their team. And that's what I do. 
and we only get paid on results by the way yeah, yeah. when it comes to marketing i'm on their side not on the other side you know yeah 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 understood understood now sometimes though too, i think marketing gets a bad rap i think what some companies need to do is they need to separate marketing from sales itself because I mean, you have a lot of different things that you can look into with that, where marketing, maybe you're not getting sales, but maybe it's A, because your marketing is targeting the wrong group of people, or maybe you are targeting the right group of people. And the thing is, your sales process is actually broken, and that's why you're not cashing in on the other end. We follow the three M's of marketing. Three M's? What are the three yeah. M's? Only three, not many. Yeah, marketing, marketing, first, marketing. No, more, 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 more. More, more, more. <laughs> more. <laughs> the first one is the market, your ideal client, your persona you are, you are going to target to. That's a market. The second one is the message. First, you identify your ideal client, who that is. Mm -hmm. And then you say, what message I'm going to write it to them. That's the message. The third one is the medium. Which mm -hmm. medium the message is being delivered? This is a hundreds of years old thing, okay? Used to be newspaper, used to be TV, so-called traditional TV I'm talking about. The medium is changing, message and mid market is not changing. Mm -hmm. So the message change, the tone of that message change based on the TikTok, tone right. of the message change on the TV, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, you name anything in Google. The medium is changing, so marketing did not change. It's only one thing is changing. That is affect how you deliver that message. Just like in a, in a normal life, if you have some event, life, something happen in your business, good, bad, ugly, we all have life events in our life. Oh, yeah. You are going to share the same message to your wife differently than to your husband, your significant other, to your mm -hmm. boss, to your mom, to your in-laws. It's a different person to talk to. Same news with a different words and different perspective. Imagine that as a different medium right now. That's the yeah. missing piece. And everyone is specialist into a one medium. Get those people on your team who are they specialize on this, even a clubhouse. You name anything yeah. I'm yeah. talking about. It's a different medium. Your message needs to be tweaked to match that tone. The, your, as far as your target market is there, again, the three M's of marketing, market, the message, and the medium. Once you follow that one, there's a zero chance of failure on the marketing. Yeah. And then once you complete that set of three M's from Sadiq, you can use my three M's, which are more marketing money. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. So let me ask you. So one of the things I noticed in your bio that uh, you had given me is that you're an Amazon influencer. What's an Amazon influencer? That's just a title. A Amazon, title? It's a title Amazon given it to me. Uh -huh. well, Amazon has how many gazillion products? You know what I'm Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. I can review any product. I have an Amazon influencer exclusive page assigned to me uh -huh. by Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash meet speak. My ID yeah. on everywhere in the world on every medium is a meet speak. So that's a page. I can review any product, put on my page and tag that product. My video will show up on the product page itself. I oh, wow. It's not a customer review. I'm an influencer review. That means I have a following on social media, so-called following. I yeah. see someone else watch it. The Amazon verified it. That means they gave me the... That <laughs> we're talking about a micro-influencer. I'm an influencer, micro-influencer. 60,000 people in my network. You don't have to have even a 60,000. You can have even a 2,000, 3,000 people follow you on certain platforms, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I got 6,000 on YouTube. We just hit 6,000 subscribers. Yay, man. I love all yeah. of them. And now <laughs> let's work together to make you Amazon influencer. That means you can talk yeah. about any product. Your video will show up on the product page. The moment somebody click the video, because people like to watch a video. Especially with how much I buy off Amazon. I mean, they're literally here every single day at my house. Um, yeah. I, I feel like I have a distribution center in my front yard. 
<laughs> that's true. You have, looks like you're talking about my home. Okay, this that's the every home and the home story. Yeah. These days, okay. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hook me up with that. Teach me about that because 100%. that is that is new to me. So let's talk about being an influencer in general, a micro influencer. How I, I think a lot of people are confused about it. Like, for example, I have a sales rep. Uh, he knows who he is. And he also knows that he's not watching this. Uh, but he, he, you know, like I, I tell him, like, I just had a huge interview. For me, it's huge. It was with Soledad O'Brien, one of the top newscasters over the last 20 years in the United States. And, you know, it's an honor to be with somebody that's been at the forefront of American history, world history, reporting on it for 20 years. And, you know, being able to interview the interviewer and I'm there telling him like, hey, this is going to be be good. This will bump up our profiles like this is this is going to be excellent for us. And his opinion was, well, how's that going to help us get business? And I, I think that there's a, a big misconception that a lot of people like they think, oh, doing a podcast is cool, but how does doing a podcast actually help us get business? I, I think he has a valid question. I don't think a lot of people understand the value that's there. Can you, you know, kind of explain that for people like him, uh, how you view it and how it can help you? you know, create a bigger network, create more business and so on? Wonderful. I'm going to answer this question in two parts. The one is the, you, people do business, they know, like, and trust, mm-hmm. and they add a value. How they can know, like, and trust and add a value, that's what we do. David, you and I are doing it right now. We are adding a value in someone who's yeah. watching this. Even a one person, it impacted their life, in their business life or personal life. I won. You won. That's the whole purpose. We are talking to that one person who could achieve and learn anything from this one. How you really get a business, be a micro influencer of your business, first of all. That's the second part of my answer. What you need to do is just become coming a guest on one podcast. One time is not going to help you. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe just add a 1% add to what you're already doing. We It'll manage- give you a little bit of a bump. I mean, if you have if you have no visibility on social, well, not social media, but on Google and search engines, SEO, doing that one interview, I mean, it'll at least get you some sort of placement. Yeah, 100%, 100%. I agree, 1%, let's put mm-hmm. it 1% increment. Yep. So what you need to do is we have a manage over a 1,000 podcasters network Okay, they are all micro influencers. Imagine they are working in a coordinated fashion, helping you to launch your business. And you do an interview with one of them at one, only one time, spend an hour or two hours, like a master Mm -hmm. interview questions. Then everyone else take the answers, create a question on their own. And in post-production, spread it all over your links of the guests are being spread in a velocity. That means today, two interviews, tomorrow, five interviews. You don't have to be an interview everywhere yourself. That's why you can tell all this because every one of them is a micro-influencer. They are following 6,000 people, 2,000 people, 5,000 people, and a combined of 1,000, that's a million plus people are talking about your product. You will be trending it all over. I don't need to give out this everything mm-hmm. else secret. That's the power of micro-influencer. Anyone has a story to share, it's a real value. You see, you are keeping it to yourself. Even though you have a huge following, you are missing out the micro influencer network because micro influencers, your 6,000 people know you. Someone has a 6 million followers, they don't know them. Mm-hmm. All of the small, smaller communities have a huge unfair advantage over the large following. This is the new normal right now on social media. Look at the TikTok. 15 second videos. You're a huge fan of TikTok, aren't you? 100%. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to subscribe to you on TikTok. Yeah, Are you I mean, dancing? You got any dancing videos? Uh, I will I will try to learn in our 10 years from now. Right now, I'm not doing this at this moment. It's a meet Sadiq. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll definitely make sure we follow. I know it annoys me because uh, whenever I look over at my wife, she's there with her phone like this, recording me so that she can make fun of me in TikTok videos. And it's like, come on, it's so annoying, but whatever it is, what it is. So 
how, how do you think people can get started in this micro networking vertical to really, you know, move forward and, you know, expand who they're talking about things with? Before I answer this one, the, the number one objection is I like all this. I don't have any time. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I don't have time for TikTok. I don't have time for Instagram. I don't have no time, no time, no time, no time. Yeah. If you are willing to invest one hour of your time, how much? 60 minutes once a month, even on a Sunday morning when everybody else is sleeping at your home, you can be a micro influencer. We can take a work with you in a collaborative fashion. We take care of the 99%. You only invest a one hour a month. If you have no one hour, this is not for you. Is that a fair warning? Yeah, that's a fair warning. I have an hour. I have an hour a month. I can give you an hour a month. Yeah. So what we can do is I, because I am a host of a growth hacking secrets and I have trained over thousands of people to become a host. They can interview your target market. I mean, someone who want to be micro influencers on your behalf with this preset number of questions and you don't have to spend time. We are doing it for you. And then at the end of the month, we we replace the, like a ghostwriting, okay? Yeah. The questions are already pre-decided. They are only going to ask the same questions where your pre-recorded question will be replaced with their questions. So at the end, when the finished product is, it's you. Mm-hmm. Not us. No. Yeah. That's and, great. Yeah. And once a month, one hour, what we are doing is all the guests who have been interviewed, you record the intro in one hour for all of them at once. <laughs> That's it. Nothing else. And then we distributed all social media on your account. So you become an influencer without a zero time of your own. And what kind of cost do you charge for something like that? How much is the bank balance you have? Like right? no plus one. <laughs> 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 it's a way cheaper than anybody can think. However, the cost of awareness not doing it is huge right now because in this new world, new normal we are living in, we need to connect with our target market. If we are not connecting, we are not empathizing with them and we are not building a relationship stronger with them, it will be very hard to sustain for long term. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, that's uh that's definitely uh interesting as far as how how you do that so once a month they just record the the i guess the introductions and then you all throw it with the rest of the video and that's what's being published yeah that's it finished product they don't even know the person who was not there well, where, where can people find out more info about that? Is that at meetsadiq.com or another site? Yeah, it's a meet Sadiq, M E E T Sadiq, mm -hmm. S I D D I Q U E dot com. There's a secret link, forward slash C mean connect. Meet Sadiq.com forward slash C. Perfect. And we'll that make sure that we definitely have, have those links uh down in the descriptions below as well too now one other question then that i had wanted to ask you is uh right next to you there's this giant giant book okay we're yeah, um, we talking about this one <laughs> this? yeah yeah actually that one right there so for the audio listeners out there uh sadiq has a digital background behind him and it's a beautiful what what scene what what city is that i'm in atlanta and this no, city, no, uh, is that atlanta skyline behind you that's correct yes it's okay a, okay it's a green background it's a green screen yeah 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 he has uh atlanta skyline behind him and then he has a huge book right there with the new success secrets why don't you tell us a little bit about your your book there yeah, new success secrets how to build run and manage an unstoppable success team mm -hmm. co-authored with the t cat house that he passed away two years ago because in any company it does not matter which business you are in you are as good as your team you are the result of the outcome of the team is coming you have to have a solid unstoppable success team especially in this new virtual environment how a team mm -hmm. can run independently out of you, not sucking your time and produce the highest level outcome as they come become an A player. We cover A to Z and that's how I am able to manage thousands of people all around the world with a zero payroll. Everyone work independently. They have the ownership 
of that thing, what they do. That can be replicated in any business all around the world, including in the U.S., of course. Wow, that's amazing. And where can people get this book at? There's a little website called Amazon.com. Yeah, Secrets. Amazon? Yeah. Never heard of it. Never heard about it. <laughs> Just go on Amazon.com, type in New Success Secrets by Mohammed Sidi. Mm-hmm. 99 cents Kindle version is so expensive, it will break your bed. <laughs> and by the Do way, have... I, may, I may even make a one cent or two cent from that. You know how the publisher pay you. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what about, oh, so you have it on uh, Kindle. Uh, it's hardcover as well, too? And paperback. Paperback. Okay, what about Audible? You have the, the voice book yet it should be soon i'm working on it right now okay okay that's great that's great i i love audible books especially because you know me i can only read so fast i read i think i read slow but <laughs> listening i can consume the audio listening so much faster so i'll put the audio books to play at you know 125 percent or 150 percent it all depends on the speaker and how fast or slow they go but then if it's a 17 hour you know book i'm getting it done in like 12 hours instead you know it's it's i'm getting the same value just listening into a quicker i love audiobooks i agree 100 percent lately because in the covert time i have been walking two hours five days a week and then i'm yeah. listening to others on my own book is not available shame on me that's why i'm putting a higher priority should be done sooner than we think oh that's great that's great i'll definitely get it out to my audience as soon as you have the audible version of it as well too hey uh sadiq this has been a great discussion i've had fun have you had fun Amazing. I have been waiting <laughs> forward to this one for a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, thank you so much for coming on. How else can people get in contact with you? LinkedIn, your Meet Sadiq site. What, where's the best place? MeetSadiq.com is the mm-hmm. best place. However, Meet Sadiq is the same ID everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, you name it, everywhere. Even a clubhouse has a meet Sadiq, okay? Oh, yeah, no, that's great. And I think that you did very smart with the branding there, of just having meet Sadiq for everything because it makes it so easy. I mean, that's the one thing that I think is frustrating with some things because there's so many different sites out there and trying to have something that's universal that will work on all of the different um, sites. It's tough sometimes. Now that helps you to become an influencer of your little world. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hashtag shark by fizz. Yeah. Me- <laughs> hashtag meet Sadiq. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Bam. And we'll end that with a mic drop. Hey, Sadiq, thank you so much for coming on. And we'll definitely get you back on sometime later this year. Looking forward to it. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Wow, such a wonderful conversation with Sadiq, right? Totally loved it. First, you all know the routine. If you found this interview helpful, if it gave you those warm and fuzzies, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. But if you really want to do us a solid, okay, this is a big favor. Best kept secret in the world? None other than this podcast, Shark Bite Biz. Make sure you share this out to your friends, your family, your network on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. I'd love to see nothing more than Shark Bite Biz and our buddy Sadiq out there trending. Okay, so let's get back to our episode recap here with our amazing guest from today. Couple things. And again, I want to reiterate about the amazing power of networking. The point is for you to be out there doing what you can to get exposure and to grow your networks. Look at Sadiq. He's doing a ton of things. When I read off his intro, I read like, what, 50 different titles. Even small things help you, like being an influencer with Amazon on doing reviews and stuff like that. It all goes into the same SEO honeypot, and it will get a bunch of weight added to it. Because sites like Amazon, they have a lot of value with different search engines. Being parts of groups, whether it's in person or digitally these days, all bring SEO value and weight to your name. It's part of the reason that I personally do things like the Forbes Business Development Council, 
Uh, you've probably seen it if you follow our social media, but I am doing Forbes articles. In fact, I should have just had one published by the time this episode actually airs. And it would be, I think, my second full-blown article. And I've done a couple different uh, expert panels where they take quotes from me and publish it in Forbes. And I do the same thing with Harvard Business Review Advisory Council as well. I mean, it really helps bring me personally, David Strausser, cloud, which means when I do go out of network, I'm getting higher quality contacts, people that can actually help me move the needle and accomplish goals because I have properly built up who I am. Is it smoke and mirrors? No, I really am an expert in business automation and a lot of tech things in sales and marketing, business strategy, all of that stuff, I have a very deep understanding. However, you need to have something to measure that against. And that's what being a part of these groups, doing things like writing on Forbes, that is what allows my experience, my expertise to be measured upon something. And then based upon that, it kind of determines the way that the universe works, who I can get in contact with, who will answer my phone calls, <laughs> who won't. So, uh, you know, it's pretty good. And I think another super valid point that Sadiq has is look at his name. It's Muhammad Sadiq. Muhammad is a name of a religious figure. I'm sure everybody out there knows, but it's also an extremely popular name. I can tell you personally, I know more Muhammads in this world than I know people with the name of Kevin. Okay. And that counts both Kevin Hart and uh, Kevin. Oh, what's his name? I forget his last name, but you know, the, the clerks two guy, Kevin Smith, I think. Right. So even Kevin those two, I know more Muhammads than I do Kevins. Okay. And I have a nephew, Kevin, that's three. There's the three Kevins that I know in my current life. I can probably name about 15 different Muhammads that I've spoken to just in the last year. And, you know, so where this is going is that, you know, at least in the U.S., I would say Sadiq. I don't know if, you know, in his country and places how common or uncommon Sadiq is. But in the U.S., it's a little bit more original. I don't know any other Sadiqs other than our friend Sadiq right here. And I, I think that what he is doing as having everything set up as his meet Sadiq, okay? Meet Sadiq for his username, for his URL, for everything. That's incredible personal branding. And that's really amazing SEO for him. And I think what he did was he took something that is, hey, there's a million Muhammads out there. How am I going to separate myself? And he did. He found a way to get name separation from all the other Muhammads. And it was going by Sadiq and only Sadiq. I think that's pretty awesome. And it really, you know, that consistency across platforms to where everybody can find him. And it really brings up a valid point right there. In fact, I don't know if you all remember our buddy Ed Howie. He was, I think, episode 31, 32, 33, something like that. And he's talking about bringing joy into this world. Well, with Ed, I am just about to be on his show as well, too. Uh, June 17th, my episode on Ed's show, How We Grow a Band Should Have How We Grow a Brand should have aired. And it was an amazing thing. But one of the items that we were talking about on that show was having your own name as your URL, yourname.com. You know how powerful that is? Think about it. Somebody Googles you. They find your site, okay? You're able to show them a side of you. You're able to dictate the first impression. First impressions are important. And you're able to dictate that. You're able to create the narrative of who you are. You are setting the table. You are in control. In the crazy world of the internet, being able to set the narrative, I mean, that's a big, huge uh, key to success. Go, grab it. Go, own it, okay? Make sure 
make sure that if you do one thing to protect your name, to protect your image, to build your personal branding, to build your, your own SEO and your network, go out there right now, go to GoDaddy, use Google Domains, use whatever you want. You go out there, buy your name or some variation of it. In fact, all variations of it, if you want. I own about 20 different variations of my name just to be protective because there are other David Strassers out there. And, you know, there's a fact, one that is a doctor. <laughs> and it's funny. I went out and I bought Dr. David Strasser. Well, eventually I may want to get a PhD in business or something like that. And, you know, I want that available for me if I do decide to take that path. So I went out and I protected all of that. You should too. Go out. You've got to dictate your story. Tell the world who you are. Don't let the world tell everybody who you are. You tell them who you are. Hey, now, before we forget, make sure you go out. Check Sadiq's book, New Success Secrets. I'm going to have the link down below on Amazon in the description. And yeah, check it out. It's a great book. He's an awesome guy. Question of the day. What do you do to grow your networks? Leave a comment down below on YouTube. And remember, if you want to be on the show, interviews at sharkbitebiz.com. Two final reminders. Do not forget. Do not forget to join the channel. $3 a month. You can become a baby shark or go to deadhousecoffee.com. Come on. Everybody loves zombie flavored, zombie themed coffee. Not zombie flavored. Zombie flavored coffee. <laughs> kind of spooky there. I don't know if I would like that. But I do like zombie themed coffee because we're all zombies in the morning till we start drinking our coffee, right? Wake up, deadhousecoffee.com. Get back to life. Use code SHARK. You get 20% off of your order. And again, all the proceeds directly go. Help this show get back to be the biggest, the best it possibly can be. And you got to remember this. I'm David Strasser. This is Shark by Biz. And we'll see you all for episode 100. Thank you for listening to Shark Bite Biz. We hope you got some insightful info from this podcast. Be sure to subscribe to us through your favorite podcast app and visit us on the web at www.sharkbitebiz.com. How has business changed for you in the 20s? Email us at podcast at sharkbitebiz.com so you can join us and share your story. 